bringing joy from one's downfall and anything can happen to you. The car is so clean. This is the second time we can wash up by Mighty God the clean door. The car is them clean and shine. <laughs> Guys, what going what's up? Um we're about to go home. Today the weather isn't too bad. It was a good weather today. Nobody just too warm in terms of like Muda bono, muda bono. No, muda just dress, just you know, warm enough for the day, but it's never too cold. No, it's 71. No, it's warm, but breeze cannot blow the same way. So it day not hot, but yeah, in the summertime, 71 did really hotter than how it is now. I really understand it, but um, I'm gonna leave now. But mom, I'm afraid we're leave, so. Alright, guys, so I have to go get gas because my car is on two stroke. And um, yeah, but you know, I was yesterday, I was on the internet, and I'm gonna see that more share this side. Yesterday I was on the internet and I was scrolling through and we so happened to buck up in a like this thing that's going on with on YouTube with some other YouTube people and I'm gonna do deep research and then I start research and then realize that you know the research for me I do like we start buck up on something like me like me see something like me say you know and um. I'm like, and, and it just had me like thinking like people in this world are waiting on a lot of us to fail and falter so they can talk about we and so they can laugh about we. May I tell you, no matter how simple your life might seem or it might be, people are waiting out there for you to fail so that your failure can be a joy for them. And Matella, uh, grow teach your wisdom and understanding. Everything you got in your life must be able to teach you something. And if you get older and you know grow in a one way where you are something where somebody can inspire you, that's what I think. Like somebody's inspired by you or something like i don't feel like that is effective growth if i'm wrong don't be afraid to say that well you know go by what may i say but i mean in life when you have accomplished certain things especially when you have children like you don't start saying you don't certain things they used to do you don't do it anymore you don't call along like failure on people or indulging someone's failure and rejoice over it um, and as I said growth takes you some time to really understand some things certain situations in life take you some time to understand some things and I don't know you see especially when you start aspire most things aspire for certain things and start think deep in a certain things you realize say there is no time for you to really be sitting down and really like say okay it's okay to be this type of person like you know <laughs> i don't know but let us a lot of people out there are we upon you to feel and a lot of people out there are we upon people to feel and the world set up so bitter that people are out there what do you call it glow a glow then call it a glow what do you call it what do you call it really like people out there just create this whole joy and people's failure like yesterday when i buck up on you like i buck up on you and i realize say these people like people where you know when we can make connection to really out there do them stuff then 
I don't know. I don't really say much because I don't want to, you know. But I just say, people, people out there are waiting for you to fail. People out there are waiting for you to fail. And one of the biggest things that I did for myself was to become a Christian. <laughs> Guys, which me feel like the devil, he might try me, he might walk, he might... It might do the most with me because you see if I come here when I go to church. And I tell myself that every single Sunday I go to church and I know I don't make it a church. And I don't feel like I am praying enough. Like the person who I am, I don't think I'm praying enough. And you know, this this is a trying time where that's what the devil wants. But I keep reminding myself that God has done so much for me. Without God, then I am nobody. And God allows me to be the person that I want to see. Or I want to look in the mirror and see. So, and I don't understand how people get up and say, Thank God for this, for that, for me. And get so happy over people's failure or you know glow so much about people and indulge in things that regarding people feel like how are you out there praying for your family and you are sabotaging other people but i don't understand i don't understand how some people look upon god and understand god and i don't, don't understand how to do it but based on the little knowledge of me of like when you put yourself in a certain situation you're blocking your blessing no matter how you think you are being blessed there are so many things more that needs to be done for you but the thing that you're indulging in like i don't know i don't understand but when i got baptized like somebody said to me that when you're baptized you're gonna see trial and temptation the most like i don't know if me i've seen trial and temptation the most trial and temptation the most but it's like for me, I feel like people with other Christian like to feel like things just go them way and they're they just you know go them way and them them feel like they have more success or I don't know. But for me right now, I'm so grateful to God. God has done so many things for me, and I right now we just I walk with God, talk with God. Like for me. something that i struggle with the most or i used to struggle with because this for me ain't an issue something that i used to struggle with the most was friends friendship just friendship generally i i am someone that i do have friends from a while but it's like i'm someone who i struggle with keeping a friendship going like for a long time or for me, I don't know if it's what, but me touch your feelings and be miserable. So if it be touch your feelings and miserable, me not sure or a blend, but me touch your feelings and me miserable. And with that touch your feelings, me kind of retaliate in a certain way. But at the same time, I'm the type of person who always look back at things that I do, and I'm the person who will talk about, it, and I'm the person who will apologize if I feel like I'm wrong. Or if you come to me and say me wrong, me just give me a two day or so, me situate. So, um, yeah, Ori Jesso. I remember Ori Jesso. But, um, you know, oh, Ori Jesso because I'm not talking about how God is my connection and all, you know. And I'm like, quite honestly, you know, I'm a struggle with a friend. And even though I struggle with friendship, I'm a kind person. Kind but me love rough i somebody told me that even though i'm loving my loving is more like a motherly love fine everybody can love differently uh but kind kind like me and your friend me and your sister me give you everything i have people who can attest to this me and your friend if me have a money money ask me and you especially when i was growing up like if i'm going places and i want my friend to come i'm paying for me and my friend and that's just me but at the same time, I had touchy feelings. Like, you know, 
hard like if me miserable like sometimes it just short on everybody but as i was saying for one i don't think if me and you are friend you're not supposed to be friend with my enemy so i touch your feelings i'll come in there so because if me and you are friend you can't friend my enemy oh come me and your friend and you're my enemy and friend what kind of friendship that so i have friendship that has been separated because of that or if me and your friend and me and somebody I never friend and you are not the person I never friend and then when me and you stop friend you are the person to turn friend then so I have a situation broken up by that and I have a situation broken up by people feeling that I am not doing enough when I feel like I am doing what I can do you know or they think that my love is hard and they don't want a hard love which is weird anyways um Oh me get here, get to the point of the story it's like for me now, me not really fussed up our friendship. And you have to understand a lot of people go through this. Friendship isn't not over me focus on much. And I can tell you that sometime in life you have some friend where you and them a friend for only for years and you go meet people where you and them a friend for two years and like felt like you that they have been the person you have known for years. I have I have people now who I love them like you know it's like God sent them to, to, for a purpose and um yes yeah. but what I'm saying now is that God is such a friend God is my friend me in here me a drive and I'm me a God at top me a God God me not me not me not hear but if I come and listen to my music them nothing like me and God would throw the music them man me a talk to God me a pray to God and I realize I have come to realization that when I pray God answer my prayer them when me talk to God and me and God and me realize oh God I flourish things I'm like so I'm not worried about people but gloating over people's um don't fall no man no man people really out there out there global over so i guess my whole word here is that be careful of who no call on a friend be careful of people you talk to be careful of people you just have a certain relationship with because or just be careful of people out there in general come here to some people out there wicked wicked bad wicked out there just a laugh over people don't fall like and i Especially I use it for make money. I want thing, you know, society now. The way all the society set up now, people out there, I use people don't fall and make money. So that's why people so happy that sometimes we don't feel and we not feel and fall. But <sighs> guys, my whole promise y'all are going to just make sense because that's just what they put my brain. That's just what I talk about. But as we say, I don't know how people are out there bringing joy from one's downfall and anything can happen to you anything can happen to you nobody no perfect guys here you have to pump against yourself um you have to pump against yourself um it took me a while to kind of learn it not a while probably like the second time but it's good for it you never know how you know you got a gas station in jamaica and they would have sitting and left the pump now i never know if you do that or the end teach me how to do one time i did and it smashed my finger so, yeah, I'm here full of my tongue. Which every time that's what I do when I come to get it, I always full my tongue. I think it's gonna cost me about $28 for fully. Let's see, two are $29. But let's see, got two barred it in there. This country teaches you independence. Is that a word? Yeah. Teach you how to be independent. Even though there are some states, there are some states that I hear you have to. Because I was watching Alisa Kim and she said, at uh, Jersey, yeah, yeah, after you have them do the pump attendant. Not me saying, not me saying it would have been about $28 before my time. 
the card is empty. $29. Sometimes $27 if I have three um, bar in here. It cost me $29.81, literally $30. And that's because the card is two bar, which, sorry, sometimes it be less because sometimes it gets drop. Gas price. I don't want it wrong, but I feel like gas price change every day. Every day? I feel like it change every day. Like, I already change. Sometimes I'm on and it's something else. Sometimes I even say something else. I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, people, I'm going to go home now. So, I'm going to talk to you. Hey guys, so I got home. And I have an Amazon package here. So, I'm just going to unbox it. This should be my MacBook. Um, this should be my MacBook. case with a screen protection, um, keyboard cover, and I got a wig because if you never know, my birthday is the 25th of October, so I, at least about then this wig now, I am going to be celebrating my birthday, I'm not sure what we are doing it, been trying to think about what is it that we're going to do, I don't know, but um, I have this wig here, and I got this pink, this pink uh, MacBook. When I see the pink, I was like, yo, the pink are nice. Pink are shot. So, I'm going to put it on because I see it. I know how long I need to bring it to the bar one case with on it. So, um, this pink is so pretty. I really do like this pink. It's like so bright, shocking, and you know? It's bright and shocking and I feel like in that cute girl vibe. Sometimes I like pink, sometimes I like pink. It just depends on how I feel. But my phone case right now are pink. So we can match them together. So it comes with the keyboard cover. This is the back piece for it. The bottom. And then this is the the front and then this is the screen protection. I'm not sure, but is it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on the part here. I'm gonna put on the two piece here and the finish. And um, this big, like, I like this. All oh, 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 these wigs. I'm saying two wig. Um, they send ear pins and I guess it's more a comb in it. They gave me wig caps and this should be a body wave 26 inches wig hopefully it's 26 inches body wave I don't even remember the details to it I can leave it on the screen 26 inches kind of look this this length look just like a length of a wig that i already have i don't remember i don't remember if this wig that i bought if it's glueless white shredding pieces here um has the new year smell nothing too bad but 26 inches i don't remember if i glueless no i don't remember what the information say in the purchase of all on. I don't know what the information said but I will leave it on the screen for you guys um so it's not privileged either so I forgot bleach and all of these things because see them yep so I'll leave the information on the screen in terms of shredding no, not seeing that. And let's hold on. Let's see the length of it. Hold on. Let's see where the length are going. With, like, how far? Hey, you know, like we with bun, like the big bun when I'm back in. This is this? This is twenty six inches. This is why the same wig when we get in the 
I have a wig which is about the same length and I think when I got that wig that wig was about 24 inches or 22 I have to look back but this is 26 inches okay all right so this is what I'm going away for my birthday birthday vibe I am really not sure what a girl is doing for her birthday kind of have some plans in mind but you know I'm not sure so I don't know me keeping it posted but I'm gonna put on this pretty pink case on my MacBook. You wanna clean them so I'm gonna clean them first and then I'm gonna see. Good old <clears throat> Fosca oats for the banana smoothie. I'm gonna add some of this. Made in where? Jamaica. Yeah. As I said, made in where? You know what comes on my mind? Jamaica boom. Jamaica boom. Jamaica land we love. <laughs> but don't let me smoothie, I'm hungry by this. Anyways, guys, finishing up my smoothie and uh, editing this vlog for dinner right now. And uh, yeah, that's the vibe. So take care of yourself. It's time to get that man to analyze it. I'm gonna feel like we're not gonna build yet. So I'm gonna take the clothes out in the darkness. <laughs> Alright, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Big up on yourself. Until I see you guys in another vlog. Love on always, all the time. Until then, see you. Bye.